the No Man's Sky update is out and it's called Orbital. It has the long-awaited new space stations and I know we know why it took so long for them to bring it in. But before we get into all that, I want to draw your attention to the new UI. It's a great improvement, less confusing and a lot more easier to understand. I've loaded up my OG save, which happens to be in the anomaly, so let's go and pick up these new base parts. There's a lot of them, so you're going to need quite a lot of salvage data, but I'll showcase them at the end of the video. Because what we're really here for is the new space station, and of course, ship customization. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So let's head into space and head towards the new space stations. And there it is, quite impressive. I'm going to take my time taking all that all in and then we'll head inside. I'm going to head inside. Of course, I'm going to take all this in as well. I'm not going to do any cuts. I'm going to enjoy this. Then we're going to go straight upstairs. I'm going to go and talk to the ship merchant. Oh, by the way, you can swap your ships in the space station like you can in the anomaly and on planets. The suit guy, the multi tool guy, the exo craft guy. But the first thing you're going to notice is that the hit points to activate it are a bit off. So it might be easier to go into single view to find a hit point to interact with the guy, or you can do what I'm doing. Another issue you might encounter, as you can see, it's saying I've not got enough nanites. I got plenty of nanites. That's clearly a glitch, so you could wait for an update to fix it, or you could just switch to creative mode. Because once you switch to creative mode, made your first purchase when you go to another space station, it seems to unlock when you've switched it back to normal again. But these will determine the class of your customized spaceship. Before we go to the area to ship customise, let's go and speak to this guy. They've completely changed the way the guilds work. Now there's higher stuff to buy and sell. Much better rewards. So this one needs a bit more further investigation if it are playing to get more detail and see how exactly it works. But let's head to the ship customization. That's the appearance modifier, not the ship's customizer. It's in the middle. And what you're going to find is you can have the explorer, the fighter and the hauler. So you can basically customise or make these three types of ships. And of course you get the reactor core at the space stations. And essentially what you have to do is you have to purchase ships that fly in and scrap them. So let's do that now. I'm at a different space station so I'm going to go and pick up that explorer. Once you've purchased the Explorer, you've got that long walk back to the <laughs> scrapper. You have to select Begin Salvage Analyze. Then select Extract Customization Module. And then you'll have the salvage hull, salvage left wing or salvage right wing. Then when you go to the ship customizer, you'll find the part that you've just got in the appropriate menu. And there's a lot of parts to get, so you're going to have to scrap a lot of ships. But at present, I'm in a Kovac system, and what you'll find is they lean towards explorers more than any other ship. You will get the other ships there, 
but it's mostly going to be explorers. When you go to a GEG system, what you'll find is it mostly leans towards haulers. And of course, I know most of you are probably going to try to make your own customized fighter. You'll find them mostly in Viking systems. So to be clear, GEG systems have more haulers with some explorers and some fighters. Kovac systems have more explorers with some fighters and some haulers. And finally, Viking systems have more fighters with some haulers and some explorers. And when using the ship scrapper, you want to extract the customized modules. And you only get to extract one piece at a time. And there's a lot of pieces to collect. And as I've not had time to collect all the parts yet myself, I don't know what we'll do about the color bit, if it's determined by the space station, or if we've got one more menu to sort out when we get to that point. But I think it's going to be determined by the space station you're in, so we're going to be running around looking for the perfect space station to get the perfect colour. And finally, here's a showcase of all the base parts.
I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.